Hello again, and welcome to day two of week 12 of uh, year two of the Religious Education Initiative. Uh, we're going to read today the, ver the first Vespers prayer at the lighting of the lamps. So, at Sunday each day, the church celebrates the service of Vespers, which sim simply means sunset or evening. This is built around the very ancient custom of lighting the lamps inside the church, while psalms are read to reflect on the coming of the night the rest that God gives to us, and our expectation of the new day that is to come, and of the enlightenment that we are given by the Lord as he illumines our hearts and our minds. As the service begins, there are seven prayers that are read by the priest. This is the first of those seven. It goes, O Lord, compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and very merciful, give ear to our prayer and attend to the voice of our petition. Accomplish a sign for good with us, Lead us in your way, that we may walk in your truth. Gladden our hearts, that we may fear your holy name. For you are great and work wonders. You alone are God, and there is none like to you among the gods, O Lord. Mighty in mercy, in good, in power, unto helping and comforting and saving all those who hope in your holy name. For to you is due all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Now this... This prayer is a beautiful counterpoint to the Song of Moses from day one. We see what happens when we rebel against God. We see what happens when we drive grace and love of the Lord away from ourselves. But this prayer reflects in the opposite direction, on the mercy of God, on his love, on his kindness, on his graciousness to us when we repent. And it is an act of turning back towards the Lord, recognizing, confessing his grace and his mercy and his love, and asking that we may be brought into communion with him. As we see the coming of the night, as we, as we find ourselves in darkness, we turn towards the Lord, asking for strength and peace and life from him. This needs to be the regular movement of our hearts. We go sometimes in strength during the daytime when we're full and everything seems normal. We can forget that we need God. But the coming of the darkness, the middle of the night, these are times when we are conscious, more easily conscious of our weakness, of our brokenness. And this is what this, these Vespers prayers and many of the prayers of the church do. They take the opportunity of this anxiety, of this uncertainty, of the fear that human beings have always felt at the dying of the light. And it, we turn that anxiety, that uncertainty into prayer, asking the Lord for mercy and grace, with the assurance that he will be with us through the darkness of the night and all the days of our lives. So, uh, very brief today, but it is good to reflect on what we are doing in prayer, and to actively engage our intentions and our hearts as we, uh, as we engage in prayer. So God bless you all. I'll see you all for day three.